The New Economy Initiative, or NEI, has just kicked off its third and final year of its two-tier challenge, awarding $500,000 to existing small businesses in Detroit, Hamtramck, and Highland Park. Uh, the goal is to get those ideas to flourish. And here to talk more about the uh, organization and, of course, the challenge is Abir Ali, the program director for NEI Ideas, and James Fegan, uh, the outreach manager. Good morning to you both. Thank you so much for, for joining us. What is NEI Ideas, Abir? Well, it's a small business challenge, like you said, that awards half a million dollars a year to 32 small businesses. So we, it's any ideas, rewarding ideas for business growth. So we're really tapping into that dream or that idea that a small business owner might have that can really take their business to the next level. So we are now in year three, the final year. As in the last two years, we'll be giving out a half a million dollars, 30 $10,000 awards, and 10, uh, two $100,000 awards. And, and James, I mean, you're the outreach manager. You uh, obviously come into contact with these businesses. What does this type of award mean for these small business owners? I think the biggest thing is just acknowledgement. There's a lot of conversation in Detroit about small business, and this challenge is a chance to reach and acknowledge and award neighborhood businesses who've been around, who've stuck it out through the tough times, give them the ideas to grow, and more importantly, connect them to the resources. Can you give us an example of uh, what some folks have done with this, uh, with this award money? Uh, yeah, we've got it. We've got a ton. So we like to say that, you know, we've had ideas all across the board from ones that are super practical to really exciting and sexy. And so um, between James and I, we've got a handful of them, but we were you talking got, earlier. Yeah, you've got everything from barbershops looking to add lines of service to the oldest female American master plumber looking to uh, computerize her bid system and make her more competitive. Uh, third generation family dentist in Highland Park, Livingston Family Dental. They really want to spruce up their storefront, let folks know, hey, they're still here. Uh, yep. Sweet Potato Sensations, adding the, uh, their menu and beefing up their dining room a bit. So it runs the gamut from retail to service to manufacturing to all over. construction to, yeah, we're all over the place. Because, you know, a lot of people would think, you know, I'm a small business, but, you know, maybe my business isn't appropriate. But it sounds like it's a remarkable range uh, that yeah. you guys service. No, it, it has been a remarkable range. We've had about 1,200 applicants in the last two years and 64 winners to date. And I think that we've represented well over 20 industries um, in those winners and in those applicants. So we're really all inclusive, all inclusive and welcoming when it comes to what these small businesses are and what they're doing. James, is there any advice that you would give a potential applicant who's you know, maybe going to get their application but might be overwhelmed by the process? Well, the first is don't count yourself out. If you've been in business at least three years or doing what you do, Apply and let's work it out later. It, there's folk that you can be home based, you could be a sole proprietor. Uh, the biggest thing, too, in terms of advice, the application is only 400 words. You know, so it's, it's the most easy application. It's easy to apply for college or for a job. It absolutely is. And we say be concise, be specific, and show us the passion for what you do. We want to be able to see that in the application. And Abir, when will the 2000, when are the nominations due or applications due, and when are the uh, winners going to be announced? So the applications are open now, and they close June 1st at 11.59 p.m. So, um, you know, get those in. You can apply online. You could apply in person. And we will be announcing winners sometime this fall. And if folks want more information, they can go to anyideasdetroit.org to find Correct. information. And the application is there as well? Uh, yes. All right, Abir Ali, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. And Mr. Fegan, appreciate it. Thank you so much thank you. for joining us. And best of luck to this new batch of, uh, of applicants.